With one listen to her new CD, Nobody Loved, Nobody Gets Heard, it's obvious our next guest has great pipes, an ear for great songwriting, a talent for producing, and she's a mighty fine guitar player to welcome. So please welcome one of Nashville's best loved women, Susie Boggess. <laughs> She was all alone at half past four in an all night small town convenience store. When he walked in and locked the door behind him. She ducked down behind the counter. He said, Get up, I know you're down there. I got a gun. Put powder in it. Put powder. Oh, sorry. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with Susie Boggess. How about a big hand for that beautiful performance? Thank you. I love your band. Love oh, you like the band? Yeah, you guys are great. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wonderful. Actually, believe it or not, my band. I have the same instrumentation in my band as well. I, I'm the uh, the rhythm player, but uh, Next we don't time do those come back. rhythms. <laughs> Next time you come back, we'll do it together. That'd be great. I'd love it. That'd be great. Thanks. Do I get to come back? Can you tell me what the <laughs> secret is of getting him to talk to? <laughs> you ain't that fine, Mike. <laughs> I'm not going to go this far to have a conversation with you. All right. Now, you collaborated with your husband on this CD. I did, yeah. yeah. Let me ask you something about your husband. When he asked you to marry him, did he do it in private in a nice little restaurant? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah. But I'm not going to tell you where he did it. Okay, you're not going to tell me where he asked no. you to marry him? All right. My yeah. guess is it wasn't in front of family. Then. Actually, he told me, the very first date I had with him, he told me that if I married him, I would have health insurance. And I, <laughs> it made all the difference in the world. All of a sudden, I was okay. deeply in love. For a second, I thought you, made, you married a mob guy. <laughs> oh, no. Marry me or else. No. Good. 
Now, uh, you got Garth Brooks on this CD. You got all kinds yeah. of people backing you up on this CD. Yeah, actually. Now, Garth Brooks is only a studio guy. Now, that's sad. He has such a good career going for himself. <laughs> yeah, well, I think he's coming back. He's yeah. having a comeback. Good. It'd be nice to see. Yeah. But you had, uh, you obviously have a lot of friends in Nashville who came together to help you make this CD. You wrote all yeah. the songs. Your husband produced it with you? Yeah, we've uh, we never produced the whole record together. This was sort of a scary trial thing, but we, we came out of it with Blind Colors. We're Good. celebrating our 12th anniversary in November, so uh, we're gonna, oh, we made it through the album. And this was your, uh, and this is the first time you ever collaborated on an album. Yeah, we, you know, I've always asked his input, you know, but there would always kind of be this line where, you know, I, I'd say, what do you think about this? And then when he would start to speak, I would say, hey, it's my record. Right. Do you have so, kids together as well? We have a little boy that's three. Oh, good. So he helped you out with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. There was no line there. Right. No. Good. Good. <laughs> and uh, you make your home in Nashville. Yeah, we live right outside of Nashville, kind of out in the... Don't get your exact address. Oh, okay. Well, they all do in Nashville. Heck, they got a tour map, and the people come around four times a day. It's like if I'm out digging in my garden, it's like I have to, you know, be fashion lady. I can't go out there in my skivvies. Oh, because they won't come by again. They'll be deeply offended. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to get it them off be. your back. Come out looking really sloppy. Yeah. Well, it's good. Now, are your expectations... Uh, uh, pretty high now because country is such a big thing since the 80s. The new country, Charlie Pride can't even get into the uh, Grand Ole Opry anymore. Do you know about all that? <laughs> I never heard that. Yeah, all the old time country guys, they can't get into the Grand Ole Opry. They can't get in, not no, even I do to a see lot the show? Of, I do a lot of reading. Well, not a lot of reading, but I scan. Uh-huh. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe <laughs> you didn't read the fine print. I thought I read that some of the older country artists are not happy with the fact that they can't get oh. into the Grand Ole Opry I don't anymore. know if it's getting into the Grand Ole Opry. I think it has to do with getting on country radio. More. Okay, yeah. Mm, yeah. That's the yeah. deal. See, I misread it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But things are going really well for you. You're, uh, you're crossing over. You're doing, getting, getting on the pop charts as well as the country. That's fantastic. Thing I see. am? Yes. Oh. The best okay. thing you can do right now is just <laughs> nod your head. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Not only did I not do my homework on this one, you're going to come on up and looking real good. Oh, good. I like this. If yeah. we keep talking, you're going to be uh, heavy, metals <laughs> heavy Metals Rising Star. Heavy Metals Rising Star. But I want to thank you very much for coming. Where are you going to be playing you. while you're here? Actually, I'm not doing anything, but if you know any gigs that are open on... Sure, come back yeah. tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to play well, with these get? guys tomorrow right. night. I want to thank you thank very you. much, Thank you. I had Susie. a great time. We had a great show tonight, folks, and... Unfortunately, I can't tell you who's on tomorrow. What I can tell you is that Nana Muscuri can't make it. Yes. So we're trying to get Rula Lenska from the VO5 commercials. Okay. All right. I want to thank everybody. Rick Mercer, Nicholas Evans, Susie Bogus, and Victor, the guy who painted our sidewalk. Good night, ladies.